A question we get asked frequently is how to fade in or fade out when making a video on an iPhone. I'm going to show you how to do this in an app called Splice, but you can apply the same method in any editing app. You're about to learn everything you need to know about making a video using your iPhone. My name is Dean Parman, this is TravelVidStarTV, and welcome to our iPhone video editing tutorial series. If you have any questions about Splice or you'd like to see how another app works on an iPhone, let us know in the comments below. In today's video, we are going to cover... Let's start with the Splice Fade In. Technically, all you need is a crossfade on the first clip in the timeline. But Splice, like many other mobile editing apps, don't let you do this. The workaround is to drag the playhead to the front of the timeline and add a title. Then delete the text from that title and you're left with the black space filler. This dark clip is now the first clip in your timeline. You can choose to change the color of this black space filler. You can shorten this clip to just a moment or two and then add a crossfade between this and the next clip. The longer the black space filler is, the longer you can make the crossfade. A crossfade that is less than 0.7 of a second might as well not exist. You can extend the black space filler beyond 1.5 seconds so that there is at least one second of fade in time. The longer the space, the longer the fade can be. How to fade out in Splice? This process is identical to the fade in. Simply add a title at the end of the timeline. Delete the text unless you want it. Drag it out to a couple of seconds with the trim tool. Add a crossfade between the last two clips and make the crossfade as long as you want. With closing crossfades, you may want to drag out the transition even longer than the intro, but it all depends on the video style. Adding a CTA. Now that you know how to fade out at the end of the video, you may want to consider using this space for a CTA. What's a CTA? a call to action. It's the thing that makes your viewers do something at the end of a video. If you want to learn more about CTAs, there's a link to a video we did in 2019 in the card above. This video is still relevant today, maybe even more so. Thank you for watching, and I really hope that this was practical, informative, and useful. And as I said in the beginning, if you have any feedback, questions, or comments, you know where to put them. And don't forget to let us know if there is another app that you would like us to look at in the second part of the series. If you want to learn how to make a video, then please subscribe to our channel and also remember to hit that notification bell not to miss the next editing tutorial. Please also check out our website for loads more information on how to make a video. Thanks for watching. My name is Dean and this is TravelVids.tv.